Hey folks, it's your internet super loser Fox Marine. And as promised, yeah, I'm coming back here with a better with a better fumble this time around. We are playing, and we're gonna be playing uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. I just really, really like this game. Um Yeah, I just really like stealth games and I feel like this is more of I guess my speed. <laughs> It doesn't really require a lot, uh, a huge amount of skill to do any of these games. Uh, so yeah, if uh, this all looks really weird, I think um, the game switches resolution from gameplay to the menu to to um, the cutscenes here, the the pre-rendered cutscenes. So it, it, it looks weird. Going from this to gameplay like a, a bit. Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer. Now you know why. And I should really I should really shut the fuck up when these cutscenes are playing. Sorry about that. Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. What do you know? Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. So, uh, three things. Uh, voice hacking is really great for this game. That's why I'll be quiet for these. For these ones, you guys can just read. Yeah, so we're basically going after Hugo Lacerda. We're trying to get to Bruce Morgan. That's basically all of these. I'll just let this play. But um, while I'm talking over <laughs> Lambert over here, uh, possible, yeah, uh, three things. First thing, Lissera, amazing voice acting. That's uh, why I, I don't want to talk as much so for the cutscenes. Michael hey. Ironsides is just has done a bang-up job for um, for this game. Uh, number two, man, uh, if you replace, uh, I guess, Japan 
with uh, China, you might have a rough idea with how Japan's movement in this game reflects kindly on like, kind of like what China is doing right now in Southeast Asia. So. The target area is a and if those of you aren't aware, like they're they're releasing, uh, gosh, if, I, if I'm going nerd on military politics here, but uh, the the U.S. and I think the U.K. they've released, uh, they, they've sent over a fleet of warships to patrol the West Philippine Sea, which is. You know, it's just so kind of like a show of force and solidarity between other nations right, and China. Sure. It's just Helicopter interesting so, to see this here. Of, of course, there's no the actual... Be no, I was going to say splinter, so there's no actual Sam Fisher to this save the day. Holds the contract with Wright Pritchard Technologies to protect their uh, VIPs third thing. Potentially hostile situations. I am like we a huge a fan of the whole... And we accept yeah, after Douglas Shetland uh, speaks here, but um, guys who came after him basically, I'm such a big, I'm a huge a Tom Clancy fan since I was like in my teens. And I'm so I was, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, folks. I have to just go here. So yeah, let's. Ooh, okay. So let's just, yeah, we're here. So yeah, uh, if this actually looks better, it's because. Uh, so let's see how my controls there yeah there we go so yeah um man like ever since i was like my teens i started reading the uh, the ryan verse novels you know jack ryan uh i did i did stop off at a there you go i did stop at a certain book so i do have a bit of catching up to do with those books but that's a lot like he has a son now jack ryan has a son and he's like the main character now and so, like, that's when I kind of, um, uh, like, learned how to... I'm hearing how to... gunfire down there, Fisher. Everything all right? It's coming from up ahead, but Lambert, when I think Gorilla, I think Kalashnikov. What do you mean? I've had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. And keep us posted. Okay, so this is why I like this game. I could just go on at my pace because these two guys will be coming up here, right? From, from. Let's see. I could. So they're gonna go walk here. They're gonna walk. One is gonna come across here. And he's gonna be somewhere around there. The other's just gonna go back inside there, right? So I can do this. I can just tell stories, so to speak. Um. Yeah, the Tom Clancy novels like sort of taught me. My first curse word, oh no. Saying fuck and shit. Like those books, like they don't they don't curse like sailors in those books, but you know, um there was this one where uh, Jack Ryan was somewhere in Europe and he just shouted this one word. So there was an explosion and he shouted this one word. I thought it was a um I thought it he was like um saying some Russian name. Okay. And I'm the word was the uh, S O N A V A V I C H. And I was like, what is this word? And I was reading this in the library. And I, I said, Sunovavich? 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 Oh! Son of a bitch! That's what. Oh! <laughs> and I said that out loud. <laughs> And that's, and I got, I got dirty looks from people. Didn't anyone ever tell you that spelunking is dangerous? Oh no, you are going to kill me, right? Only if you say the word monkey. Now tell me something I want to know. Uh, ammunition and medical supplies. Check around inside the keep. They have tons of stuff in there. Some of you guys are real helpful. Why do you have to work for the bad guys? You're the American oppressor. You're the bad guy. Are you gonna say monkey? What? Nope. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna we're gonna go for like a non-lethal playthrough, and I really have to save first because I tend to screw up a lot here. All right. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. Awesome. Wait. Can I jump? Yeah. Uh, yeah. See. See. I can jump. I can actually roll. So this game has it gives you a lot of stuff that you don't use often like that role uh 
and if my controller sounds uh, noisier than usual, uh, I'm not using a controller. I'm I'm on mouse and keyboard, so it looks, yeah, the whole movement thing looks a lot more better now. And you can actually hear their um their radio here. So let's see, can he won't hear me, but I should be able to. Come on, there. Come on, damn it! Let me grab. There you go. So what we're gonna do. It's very newsy. Put him here. And one of the things I also like about this game is the soundtrack. Now, so far you've been hearing my ambient, uh, the fan behind me, and me talking, and you know some of the. Uh, I think you're right about the equipment, Sam. Yeah, they got themselves a little stockpile of high-tech kit here. Try and find out where they got it. See if those crates have SSCC barcodes on them and scan them with your EEV. So yeah. The SSCC code is lot one of five. See if you can find the other four. I'll do my best. All right. So that's another side mission we have here. If I press, is it tab? I'm not really sure. It's tab. Maybe it's another button that you know I don't want to mess with just yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna pierce this, and I just want to hopefully the enemy down there because there's one guy right there. Hope he gets suspicious. And every time like an enemy is spooked or anything happens. This, this mellow sort of sound plays and it, it differs from uh, from level to level so this is by uh, Amon Tobin this is the lighthouse uh, theme so because this is the basically level the lighthouse so he should bug out he should go back like yeah there you go and come on come on come on there's no signs of anything here no I didn't mean that no damn it there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, so... I already know what you want. Uh, you don't... Yeah. I'm just gonna keep you here. I'm gonna keep you in the shadows. Now, the first Splinter Cell games, like, if you leave them uh, out in the open, and there are, even if there are no enemy patrols, once you leave that area, you'll get, uh... You'll get, like, an alert, right? Yeah. Even if... Even if you do, um... Even if there are no enemies in the area that you just left. Now for this one, if there are no enemies at all, and y even if I left this guy here out in the light, uh, nothing will happen because there's no enemies to to look at uh, to um what the fuck uh, to I'm I'm sorry my semantics is my uh, my semantics is bad. Um, but yeah, as long as there's no enemies there, you're fine. So it's a bit more realistic this time around than the first couple, I Don't think. Don't you think he's had enough? He's had enough when he can't talk. Talking? Madre de Dios, he hasn't been able to speak for an hour. He could be faking it. No! <laughs> okay, alright, so there's no way for me to go over the stage. I guess... Oh, man, I just really like this game. So... Jesus. Yeah, so I we're gonna have to is. wait here. Vicky, I should wait here. Is a lump of coal. His brain See, at the lower left, enough. that's my light meter. So give him the, more. the bar on the top is it's my light meter. The bar maximum. next to it is my noise meter. What? So, I bring as much as possible, battery? I want to keep it all the way to the left. <laughs> what do you say, amigo? So these bricks over one here <laughs> are um, wait a minute. torturing that guy Jesus. over there. His ears. Look. Smoke. I think I'm going to be ill. I think he's dead. <laughs> Only one way to be sure. Uh, I'm going for a walk. See, like, I press Q up against the wall, you have this. So yeah, this game gives you, it gives you everything that you need. Right, and... Okay, so... Uh, come on. There we go. Sorry, I'm just, like, mashing uh, the space button. Because it's uh, it's a little tricky. Let's see what you got to say. I already don't like you. Don't make it worse for yourself. Who, who are you? Shut up. Why did you torture Morgan Holt? Lacerda told us to. Why? 
What does he want to know? Math problems. Programmer stuff. I don't get it. You're just the stupid one who likes to hurt people, huh? Uh, exactly. Can you think of a reason why the world wouldn't be a better place without you? Uh, please. I... I didn't think so. Well, at least he's, he's, he's honest. Now, I don't really have to do these all the time. Like, some have nothing to say, like this guy coming up here. Um, but they're just, like, really fun to do. Doesn't sound too good down there, Fisher. The sound isn't the problem. You should smell it. You're sure he's dead? Deader than Elvis. All right. Leave the body. We still need to recover any traces of the interrogation. Grim will call you back. No, honestly, I don't have to do this. Um, bring him over to the dark. But it's just force of habit, I guess. My apologies. <laughs> This, uh, this will be an occurring theme, just me dragging you unnecessarily. Eh, this is fine. No one's gonna come by here. Oh yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, Morgan Holt over here is dead. We're a little late. Sad to say. Fisher, I said leave the body. We don't have the means to extract him. Just because he's dead doesn't mean I need to leave him here hanging like a piece of meat. Don't get too connected, Fisher. I need you to stay rational. You can spare 30 seconds for some simple dignity. He's actually right. And I actually, every time I go through this this part of the game, I always do that. Always free Morgan Sam, Holt. it's Grim. We need to make sure that whatever Morgan Holt might have told them about Mass's algorithms never leaves this site. Okay. I detected a wireless link coming from the technician who left the room before you entered. So I'll need to recover any data he might have uploaded to their servers. Exactly. So yeah, as you see, like, I got the optic cable out here. Wait, how do I leave? Uh, dang it. Is it? No. Wait, is it? No. Okay, it's the other. Alright, I, I barely used the optic cable. <laughs> Just wanted to show it off a little bit. So I'm gonna pick this lock. And this is what, uh... Is this? No, hold on. Uh. Okay, all right. It's the um. <laughs> it's the directional. It's the ASW keys. I used to play this a lot on the um. On PlayStation Two. So <laughs> I get a little confused playing this. All right. So you're no, no. I didn't mean that. Uh, let's see, we have our knight. Yeah, him. So, I want him to turn away just so I can get this guy. Because this guy over here, this guy, uh, he's important. So, I have... Do I have... Can I wait him out? Um, From the looks of it, these gorillas have a pretty temporary setup. Seems unlikely they have any kind of alarm system on location. Good. Okay, and I want you... I'm gonna take you with me. Alright. Again, my apologies for the really loud banging of the, uh... <laughs> of the space... Of the space bar. I really don't have a choice at this point. What up? Hi there. You look important. Yeah, he does. I am loyal. You will get no information from me. Really? Hmm, it looks like you forgot to shave this morning. Let me help you out a bit. Huh? You can't! Hey! What are you doing? Okay, okay. What do you want to know? I'm looking for Lacerda. He's been behaving very badly lately. Well, you're wasting your time, American. He left in a boat an hour ago. He could be anywhere by now. I guess I'll just have to follow him then. Don't worry. He won't slip away. All right, at least we know where Lacerda is. So we failed two missions. I think that confirms it, Fisher. Yeah, seems like Lacerda's long gone. We'll see if we can track him through Echelon. Right. Don't worry about him for now. We'll keep you posted. Try to get this guy out of the way. Uh, huh, there you are. Let's see. The great thing about here is, like, the rain masks your footsteps. So we're gonna grab you. Uh, there's only a way, like, for me to drag him a bit quicker. 
Alright. Yo! Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on these links so that I could remind you that this is a warning, not a guarantee.